Right then, I'm live. One second, let me just uh, move the phone. I'm doing it on my phone again. Hopefully it's all right. Um, I thought what I might do is do like Sunday car boot haul. If I go to a car boot, um, I'll just do them live on my phone. Well, I do them live anyway, but I mean I'll do them live on my phone because it saves turning my computer happy uh, with what I did today. I'm still happy that I got out of bed. I'm still happy that I went down and that was that. I actually, uh, this weekend, I wasn't going to go to a car boot. I, well, actually, one sec, I'll just quickly say hi in the chat. So, uh, we've got Dan in there, we've got Kaylee in there, we've got Zach in there, and we've got Paul in there. Hi, guys. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, what was I going to say? So, uh, this car boot, right, um, I, I wasn't going to go to one this weekend, but then I saw, uh, very local to me, about sort of five minutes drive away, um, there was a new pub car boot, it was a one-off one, um, you know, I, I had high hopes for it, but maybe my hopes were a little bit too high, I thought, oh yeah, there's going to be loads of cars, and it's going to be Lego in the back of every car, and video game, you know how you get, you get very uh, optimistic about it, and you're always thinking about the positive, um, and I went down there, and it was very, very slow to get started, I mean, I was down there for about ten past seven, and it didn't start till 8 o'clock, there was no one there, um, and then I just sort of waited around for a bit, and then finally some people turned up, um, and then there was only about 8 cars, the other thing that happened actually, um, was there was higher competition than I thought, I thought, uh, because this one was really new, and you know, I, I just thought the other dealers wouldn't be interested, but a lot of the regular faces, you know, familiar faces were down there too. Um, and because there was so few cars, there was only about eight cars, uh, mixed with the fact there was about 15 dealers there, it meant that it was it was too saturated, you know, the, the, the car boot was too saturated on the buying side of things with, with how many dealers there were to cars. Normally, if you go to a car boot, you get like, you know, 100 plus cars, 200, 300 plus cars, and yes, there'll be a lot more dealers, but because there's so many cars, it sort of balances it out. Um, but no, I'm still happy. I'll show you what I got. I'll show you a few um, charity shop purchases, and um, yeah, and as I say, next week I'll probably have another haul video for you from uh, a car boot that I do next week. So yeah, um, the thumbnail had Max and Paddy in Road to Nowhere. Beautiful condition inside, the disc is spotless, um, paid 50p, I grabbed it, uh, well I didn't grab it just before another dealer, but I grabbed it when there was another dealer uh, stood there, but I don't think he realised it had value. Um, yeah, it's about, it, I just um, I just scanned it in then, I thought it was about 11 or 12 quid on Amazon, it's actually gone up to £16.50 on Amazon, and uh, that's got a 1,000 rank as well, which is really good in that category, so... Yeah, that was that one, really happy, um, and it kind of made my day, because I really didn't get, I got like four, three or four items, uh, hence why I'm going to show you some charity shop purchases as well, to sort of fill out the video, um, but yeah, I mean, it just made my day, made my day to see that one, so 50p into hopefully about 16 quid, might come down a bit by the time I send it in, or it might go up, depending on when I actually send this into Amazon, but yeah. Happy with that, um, and that was basically my petrol back, and then you know a bit of profit on top. Obviously, um, I got. Oh my god, it was so hard to negotiate this lady down. Right, um, she wanted five pound for this, and then some other little thing that I really wasn't interested in. Some other pet thing that I really wasn't interested in, and weird thing is on this one it says pet mate, so it's not cat mate, it's pet mate. But then it has a picture of a cat there, so I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I'm assuming you can get about the same money as a cat mate, which is about 20 quid. Um, so, yeah, I, I talked to her. I managed to get her down to four quid. I wanted it for, like, two or three quid, but she just didn't want to come down at all. So I ended up, I was like, well, it's not going very well, this car boot so far. Do I buy it for four quid and turn it into, you know, hopefully 18, 20 quid or whatever this pet mate goes for? Um, and Or do I just leave it? So I thought, you know what, well, there's still profit in it. There's a healthy margin in it. I've got to do my job and I've got to pick it up. Um, if the car boot was going a bit better, I might be like, mm, four quid, I might pass it up and then come back in a little bit. 
and try to talk, try to talk her down a, uh, a bit more. But you know, it was just one of them judgment calls. So that still, there's good profit in it. But I just didn't. I, I wasn't too happy about paying four quid. But ah oh well, that's okay. Um, and then finally, yeah, finally on this car boot haul that's lasted about five minutes. Um, are two sealed inks. Now these are expired, but I've said it in the past, you all like to sell expired ink. Certain people buy these expired. I don't know why it is. I think someone once commented on one of my videos and said, the reason we buy the expired ink is because some inks actually, although it says an expiry date, we don't actually expire or something, but I'd have to do a bit more research into that. But anyway, she wanted a quid each, and then I pointed out the fact to her, well, these are actually expired, and then she gave me them for 50p each, so I don't know what I'll get on them, maybe £10 a pair or something, because they're expired. If they weren't expired, probably a bit more than that, but, you know, maybe 7 to 10 quid, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'll take them for that. I wasn't doing very well, so I thought, yeah, you know, I've got to take them for that. Um, and I knew that as soon as I walked in, I knew it wasn't going to be a massive car boot or anything. So, But you have to take, this is the big thing. If there's these new car boots springing up or these one-off car boots, whether it be school ones or pub ones or whatever, you've got to take the chance and go down because if you don't, you know, you'll never know what could have been. Um, yeah, so I, I was quite I was quite happy with what I got, even though I didn't get a lot. Um, morning ads, rubbish here in... Tor Torbet Torby Oh I can't say Torbet Torbay Torby I don't know. There's a way of pronouncing that. Um Hi Ed, Royal Mail said I couldn't post ink unless it was to a commercial address. I don't know, I've put I'm sure I've posted ink with Royal Mail before. I don't, I don't know, but I could always just whack it you know, post it via Hermes if if not. I'm sure Hermes doing but people sell ink all the time and they post it with Royal Mail or Hermes or whoever, so yeah, yeah, nah. I don't know, I don't know, but I've posted it with Royal Mail. Um, Mir Cameron Ali says, I overslept as well today. Uh, and he also says, hi. Kirsten's in the chat, Lisa's in the chat. Um, Darren's in the chat, visiting my in-laws and went to their local car boot. 24 cars in total. Managed to get a few bits, but yeah, dreadful morning, really. Well, you know, it's... So I'm just letting the cat in. Um, you know, it's just one of them things. You can have a good day, you can have a bad day. But the, the biggest thing I wanted to, to tell you guys as well on this video, and the point of me doing this video only, only with a few items, is that you've got to diversify. I'm not worried now if I go to a car boot and I don't get anything because I've got auctions, I've got eBay sniping, I've got this, I've got that. You know, I've got loads of different ways to get stock. Um, and it means that if I go to a car boot one week and I don't have a good week, I'm not bothered. I'm 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 chillaxing. I'm I'm happy um, compared to maybe six months or a year ago where I'd be really like you know a bit on edge. Like oh my god, I've not got any stuff. Um, but I think that that diversification. And I say it all the time. I say it all the time. I feel like I'm uh, I'm talking to a wall or whatever. You know how many times I say it, but. It's so true, you know, you've got to diversify how much, how many places, you you know, you're sourcing and where you're sourcing and uh, even what you're sourcing. I just say it so much, I say diversification. And I, I made up a little saying this morning. When you go to the car boot and you don't get anything, always remember this, diversify, don't cry. So if you've got, I think that's really cool. If you've not got much from a car boot, always remember, diversify, don't cry. So don't cry about it, because that's been and gone. Just diversify in the coming days, in the following days after that, with your what you pick up, with your sourcing methods, all that sort of stuff. So diversify, don't cry, that's my new saying. I need to like get a little trademark on that or something to make sure it's mine, but yeah. Anyway, some other person can steal it off me, I'm not bothered. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you these other charity shop purchases. So, the other day, I got this for $1.99 at the charity shop. Brand new and sealed. Really, really nice, actually, this. Um, got a fairly decent rank on Amazon. It sells quite a few times a month. Uh, yeah, and there's no rips or tears to the seal, so it's really, really nice. Um, and that goes, it's merchant fulfilled, it's at 50. 
uh, and I believe it's like 35,000 or something in DVD or whatever. But it sell all I I generally don't look at the wank too much. I just go on camel and um, you know, I just sort of look at how frequently it's selling. Um, because you could have quite a high wank item, but if you look on camel it sells fairly frequently. Or you can have you know, the opposite, you know, a really low wank item but it sells uh, you know, it, it it hardly ever sells. So uh, sorry, is that right? You can have a really low rank item. Yeah, you can have a really low rank item, but it doesn't sell as frequently as you think. You know, it might be 10,000 in DVD, but it doesn't actually sell that frequently. It's just randomly up there because someone's bought it and then the rank's completely gone, you know, uh, really low. So, yeah, you, you've got to be careful with rank. I just generally just look at camel, camel, camel and say sales frequency. But, yeah, probably about 60 or 70 quid in that from 199 so I was really happy with that. Um... Speed stacks, I always pick these up, and they're like that. I mean, at Christmas they'll turn on again, but recently they've been a bit slower for me. Back in about sort of Feb to sort of May time, I was selling them. As soon as I got one, I'd be able to turn them around in a, in a few days, but they seem to be a bit slower now. Maybe it's just from summer. Um, but this will, even if I list this, it'll be get picked off at Christmas, so... Paid one ninety nine for that two quid, and it'll probably go for about thirteen quid, you know, including shipping. That's the price they always seem to market these at, and they do go. But as I said, with it being summer, I don't know. It, it, they were a bit slow recently, um, but I thought I'd pick them up anyway. Um, I got this Halo Mega Blocks for two ninety nine. Now, this is brand new and sealed inside. I really, I have a confession to make. I really don't like picking up Mega Blocks. I just, I don't, I, I like Lego, I like Lego, I don't like Mega Blocks. I don't, it's just, if you're, if you're into Lego or anything, or you've been into Lego, you might understand what I mean, and there's this, there's this term called a Lego purist, which is anyone who like, uh, loves, loves, loves Lego, but will not even entertain the idea of Mega Blocks, or what's the other one, Creo, or however you say it. Um, you know, any other any other construction toy. So, yeah, I'm a bit of a Lego whore or a Lego, um, you know, a Lego purist. But, you know, I, I just don't like picking it up. But I did pick it up because there's money in it. That is my job. You know, that is my job. If there's money in it, really, I should be buying it. Um, you know, not with everything. You can pick and choose, obviously. But, you know, I thought with money in it, I've got to buy it. So, um it's brand new and sealed, I think we're on for about 29, 30 quid. I can't remember what the solds were, I just remember what uh, they, they were listed for, but I just remember it being worth it when I did check the solds. Um, probably about 15 quid, 20 quid or something, because it has been opened, but as I say, it's sealed inside. Um, right, I'm just going to go through the chat because it's moving forward a bit. Do 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 was up at 6 at the car boot by 6.45, back now for breakfast, that's cool. Yeah, that's a question. How many of you have breakfast before you go to the car boot, or do you have it after? I always have it after, because I can't, I can't stomach anything, like, as soon as I get up at 6am or 7am, or what time, get, whatever time I'm getting up. Um, yeah, so what, do you guys actually have breakfast after or before? I know a lot of people actually get, like, um like go somewhere like to a cafe or something afterwards and that's their little treat for doing the car boot or something which is quite a good idea motivationally I suppose. The cat is just rustling around in that bag like crazy. Um, I hope it's not affecting the audio too much. Um, right then. Do, 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 my hubby wears shirts for work. Oh what's this one then? Oh I think it's just random chat. Do 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 do. I'm just looking through the chat, sorry. Uh, he hasn't ironed in 25 years, lol. <laughs> um, what kind of stuff do you resell? Is that to me? Or is that to someone in the chat? I think that's to someone in the chat. Adam Kels is in the chat, morning. Um, I hate everything to do with games consoles. You're in luck today, Lisa, there's no game consoles. Um... Do 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 do. Kaylee says Mega Blocks, not Lego Blocks. Lol. Oh, did I say? Did I say Lego Blocks? Oh, sorry if I did. Anyway, um, breakfast after. Ah, cool. Anything with a margin worthwhile, but mainly clothes and shoes. Do do do. God, this chat's moving quick. 
Love a cuppa and toast when I get home. Yeah, fair enough. That's me all over. Yeah. Um, do 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 do. Breakfast after the car boot. Add. I am going to sadly have my cat put to sleep this week. Oh no. Nineteen years old and she can be. Oh, that's so sad because. Oh, just I couldn't. You know, I'm so attached to Electra now. I just couldn't. Oh God, it's horrible. You know, thinking of anything like that. I, I just love her so much and. You know, I, I just know she's going to get older and um, there's going to be a point in my life where it's going to be very hard, but I'm trying not to think about that point and I'm just trying to enjoy the time I've got with her now. But I do I do think that. Um, but, you know, uh, that is really sad. That is really sad. Um, uh, where are we? I just bought a massive bag of Mega Bloks. Oh, God, not Mega Bloks again. Um at the car boot, I will just not touch it. Honestly, I will just look at it and be like, ooh, you know. Um, and I'm sure there's money in it. I bet you there's, there's certain sets that are really, really good money. Um, but I just, I, I don't, I don't even look at it, to be honest. I mean, I don't even know why I picked that up. It's not really something I would pick up. Um, right, and then finally, I'll just show you this one quickly. Oh, no, there's something else in here. Oh, my God, look at that. I've left the fight. Look at that. That was in the bottom of a bag. I left my five in the bottom of a bag. Oh my god, bloody hell. That's me all over, that is. Um, right, so there's this weird thing. I picked up for 99p in a charity shop. Um, it's, I don't even know what it is. It's some sort, I think it's some sort of personal computer or something. Um, don't know whether it's work. Oh, oh, I think actually we did turn it on, I think, at the, at the charity shop. I'm not sure, actually. Um, it's a compact iPack Pocket PC H 3700 series. I don't know what it is. But for a quid, I was like, I'm going to take the chance of that. So we'll have to do some research on that. I don't know what that goes for. Um, and then finally, for a fiver, oh, for a fiver, I got this uh, Robo Sapien. It's a bit discoloured and stuff. The remote works, but it was untested. You know, the chat shop didn't test it, so... Uh, but the remote does work because, well, I say it works, I mean, you know, the light flashes, which is a good sign, but it doesn't necessarily mean it works. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what these go for anymore, I just thought a fiver, that's good. I don't think these command as much as the Robo Raptor, I think the Robo Raptor is about sort of 30 to 40. I think these might be more 25, but you're going to have to do a bit more research yourself on completed. Um, so yeah, maybe 20, 25, that sort of region. If I can push a bit more, I'll push a bit more. But I don't think we go for as much as the Robo Raptors. Um, but that's that anyway. So that's all my purchases. So I'll have a quick, I'll have a quick another look in the chat, and then we'll uh, sign off. I know I've only been like 18 minutes, but you know. Um, I got up at 9 a.m. Fed the cat. My poorly girl. Is it Martel? Martel is refusing to eat now. Um, so can't get any pain meds into her. Oh, um, had a shower and now watching this. Will be sewing today. Oh, is that? I think that's a response to someone in the chat. Yeah, 19. Yeah, Kirsten makes a good point there. 19 is a decent age for a cat. It's over the average anyway. I think the average is like 12. I think it was. Uh, 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 if you type in Google, I think it's like 12 to 18, but I don't know how reliable that is. Um. But yeah, so that is a good age. Um, so, Ad, was it a poor day at the CBs then? It was. I mean, if you came into the stream late, you'll kind of have to, you know, uh, view the first bit, you know, after the stream. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Just view the first bit after the stream, that's what I'm meaning. Um, but I only got four items, yeah. I mean, that's the way it goes. I, you know, I could have gone. It was... What I always realise in life is a lot of things are my own fault because it's my own business, right? So, you know, I took the decision to go to this new car boot. That was my decision to spend my time in that way. So therefore, it is my fault if that car boot is bad because I was the one who decided to go there. I could have just as easily gone to a safe car boot that I know is big, that I know will have cars there, um, like, you know, Chelford or I don't know which other ones were on today. I think Whitegate was on today or something. Um, I could have just gone to one of them and it would have been safe. Yeah, I would have been safe and I would have got a lot more stuff. But because this one was so close 
and it was low in the earth and, oh it's not far from the house so I don't need to drive far it's a little bit of a later get up and it could be actually quite good there might be low competition because of all that alluring me in I decided to utilize, use my time in such a way um, but I realized the fact that that is on me that is my business my choice my decision so if I didn't get anything that was on me and I realized that and that's why once you realize that when you come back from a car boot with only a small haul, you actually stop moaning and you actually stop thinking, oh, well, I didn't get this. and I didn't. You actually think to yourself, well, I was aware of what I was doing and it didn't work out. So let's leave that in the past and let's move on. And next week, I've got a couple of stellar car boots lined up that should be weather, you know, providing the weather's good. This should be great. There's a, a one-off one that's once a year and that's always seemed to be good. Um, or maybe it's twice a year, but it's always seemed to be good when it's on. A lot of people know about it. It's marketed very well. And as long as, as I say, the weather's good, then it will it will hopefully perform. So, you know, that's how I look at things now. I'm not moaning. I'm not, you know, I'm not being negative. I'm trying to be more positive and just that's that. You know, it's my... It was my error of judgment or my, um, uh, you know, my choice to do that and it didn't work out. So that's fair enough. Um, get to more auctions, lad. Yeah, I don't need to go to more auctions. I get so much at auctions. I've got so much stuff, that's the problem. It's not your fault, ads. You're never, you're, you can never say for certain what you will find at any car. Yeah, I suppose so. That's a good point. Um... There's, the only reason I say it's my fault is because I watched um, some motivational guy. I forgot who it was. I don't know whether it was Gary Vee. I don't think it was Gary Vee. But it, it, it was someone anyway. And he said, All it, once you accept the fact that everything in life is your fault, you will become at peace because you realise that everything is your fault. So it, you, nothing can be anyone else's fault. It just It's just you. So whatever you do... Is your fault. You take accept. You really accept that inside yourself. Really accept it, and then move on. So that's how I live my life now. I accept that. Ev try. I really do try to accept that everything is on me. Everything's my fault if I can do that. And um, and then I try and accept that. I accept that, and then I move on. But I suppose in a way, if you accept that in such a way, you know, if you accept that everything's your fault in terms of the entire world, then you're kind of putting a massive burden on yourself. So, I mean, in one way, I don't accept everything in the world is my fault. But I mean, everything I do, maybe that's how I should have worded it, but everything I do is my fault. You know, if it goes wrong or if it succeeds, it's me, it's on me. And that's maybe a good mentality for a businessman because generally everything is on you so you're gonna have to accept it or you're gonna have to uh brush it off anyway so you've got to kind of just think right it's on me and now whatever comes of it comes of it but yeah i wouldn't say everything in the world is my fault i don't think like that but yeah um I have attended a couple of online auctions for the missus but only local ones that i can collect from uh yeah i mean I've seen that my local one, my uh, local local one, like the closest one to me auction, is, um, yeah, it, it, the prices can be a bit high now, and st there's still a margin in them, don't get me wrong, still a margin, but it's a thinner margin, um, and I don't know whether that's from collectors bidding online or what, I don't know, but it just, it just seems to me like, um, it, it's just a little bit higher, but... There's another auction house that I go that's great, absolutely fabulous and stellar stellar margin. So I think it really depends with the auctions on which ones you're hitting and um, I suppose what you're looking for as well. But yeah, bidding, I like bidding online. Bidding online's good. Oh, I see you buying online. No, I like to be there. Yeah, uh, the best auctions are the ones that don't do online but yes that's right Kirsten and I, I've not got any around here not not in the immediate area anyway probably have to drive about an hour 45 minutes to an hour I imagine if there was uh, you know one that's not online because there, there's a few there's one that there's one in Mac but that's online but that's 35 40 minute drive Macclesfield um 
The one in Warrington is online. The one in Nutsford is online. But I think there's one in Congleton, and that's about a 35 minute drive. And that's online, I think. So, you know, all around my area, they're all online. You know, I, I think it's very hard now, actually, to find a one that isn't online. I'm sure they're out there. And I think you actually, yourself, Kirsten, go to a, a, a one that's not online. But I think they are hard, getting harder to find because all these auctionizers are thinking, oh, we can capitalise on this, on this digital age or whatever you want to call it and uh, we can get online and get some collectors bidding and then what we'll do is we'll post it out to them and it's sort of like the, the <laughs> I don't want to say this because it's not true really but in one way we're going down a bit of a route of, of eBay you know kind of like you bid up for the especially maybe fine art sales and stuff like that there's probably a lot of collectors from overseas bidding on these single lot items and then they're just packing them up and shipping them out so it's kind of like they're acting as eBay in one way, or their own version of eBay. Um, but for the general sales, that isn't really true, the box lots and stuff. Um, I got to two a week. You can pick up loads of bargains if you're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, slows the auction down too. It slows the auction down. Yeah, if you yeah, if there's online bidding, it does. Because, um, like, I suppose if there's not online bidding... My local one could probably get for about 100, like a general sale, could probably get for about 150, 160 items an hour. But with online bidding, they're probably, I don't know, 120? Yeah, I'd say about 120 lots an hour. Um, and for an antique sale, that must be like 60 lots an hour. So, yeah, it, it, I, I agree there. It would make the auction go slower because, of course, you've got more competition, you've got more people bidding. Um but yeah, I mean, because I used to, when I worked there, uh, and when, when I worked at the auction house, I, um, I used to always think, oh, I wonder how many lots they do an hour and stuff. And, I, and, and when I was at the auction, when I was like working on an auction day, I would like to time it, you know, I, I, I do, do the timings and stuff, see how many we get for an hour. Um, and I think in an antique, it used to be at 80 an hour. And then in a general, it, it's sort of 120 to 150, but it seems to be more that 120 now at this specific auction house. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it probably does go slower. Um, right, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble for any longer because we've been 27 minutes, and you know what I'm like when I get rambling and get moaning and get, you know, and get enthusiastic or whatever. All these different emotions come out of me and I get crazy, so... I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're watching this back, you know, not on the live stream, um, then drop a comment down below. Feel free to drop any questions, comments down below. I've not been getting as many comments recently, and to tell you the truth, it's making me a bit sad because I'm thinking, oh, I want to do some interaction with you guys in the comments. So, yeah, please feel free to throw a comment down below, whether you're new to the channel whether you're existing to the channel, just throw a comment down there. I'll get back to you. It may take me a couple of hours, but I have notifications on my phone. So I should get back to you. Any questions, comments, anything like that, they can all go down there. Uh, and I'll leave it there, guys. So thank you very much. And I will, I will see you. When will I see you next? I'll try and do a sales update either today or tomorrow. But I'm recording the comedy short today. So... I don't know, it might be tomorrow. I'm trying to record a sales update tomorrow or parcel day tomorrow. Though. Tomorrow or Tuesday, sorry, I know I'm, I'm, I'm extending it again, but tomorrow or Tuesday, it will be, I'll, I'll record a sales update for you. I'm just thinking tomorrow might be taking up quite a lot because I've got parcels going out. I've got to go down and see my cabinet or do something with that. Um, and then I've got all usual stuff to do, getting more items on, doing Amazon FBA, that sort of stuff. So don't know whether I'm going to do it tomorrow, but maybe, maybe Tuesday. Anyway, see you very soon, guys.